You guys want to take a ride home with me? I went yard sailing. I gotta go back. <laughs> so I can do this one-handed. It's running nice. No complaints other than I gotta get a new back tire for it. Yeah, uh, kill it. Yes, kill switch works now too. Uh, but it's, it's riding fine. I probably rode it about 10 miles. Um, went yard sailing this morning. <sighs> Grabbed some stuff. And what well, you guys just saw me, that was a, uh, where another yard sale was during the day and that was a big free pile. I made myself a big pile, I gotta go back for it. All right. So, did a little bit of yard sailing. Here's what I found. Probably my favorite piece of the whole thing is this uh, wheel chewing stand. Made by Hosean. Hosean Tool. So, I don't know much about them, uh, but I know I always wanted one. <laughs> uh, that was 20 bucks along with some other things. The uh, 26 inch steel wheel, which I can make a good back rim out of. And uh, I already have a victim to go work with. Not quite sure what this is for right here. So like something slid in. I don't know, did it catch the center of it or what did it work with as far as uh, this jig it was. And then it's got another plate down below here. 
that kind of rotates. I have a feeling maybe that's for this direction. Don't know. So I grabbed that. I grabbed, um, I think it was this light, same thing. This light came from there, the wheel, and that was for 20 bucks. Bunch of these guys, these claw looking things. I want to make some uh, scrap art with them, and I think they look like piss or paws, don't they? For like a dog or, or something. So there's five of them there, four of them are almost the same. So I got those. Then a lead pot and a lead stick. Great for tinning wire. And speaking of wire, I grabbed those eight rolls of wire. Uh, it's pretty decent stuff. Uh, Multi-strand, uh, small diameter, so it's good for like running like directionals and stuff on bikes where the wire's nice and tiny. You can actually sneak it through the frame. So those are all unused. Uh, Twenty bucks for all of them. Uh, and at the same yard sale was this Echo string trimmer, straight shaft. Uh, they were both uh, 20 bucks a piece. And uh, getting into some of the better quality stuff was uh, this trolling motor. It is a 40 pound thrust. It's the name of it. Very guide motor mix. It's really quiet, nice, and um, it's got like a uh, in infinitely variable speed. It's not. Uh, doesn't click into locations. And for forward and reverse, that's reverse. That's forward. You just push it in and out. It clicks. And whatever gear you're in, it it, it shifts it. Um, at some point, I wanted to make an electric bike, and I wanted to make an electric bike with trolling motors. I think it would be a good setup. It's the whole package already built into one kind of thing. Really, that's your whole drivetrain. Just hook it to a wheel with some, uh, you know, small chain or whatever. So someday that's going to happen. I already have another trolling motor, um, whichever is the larger one is probably the one that'll keep. And with that, that was 50 bucks. And I don't know if you saw it on the way in. Was a uh, like a landscape trailer, a little utility utility trailer for behind your, your uh, tractor. Okay. Shit, that's already up front for sale. So if you can flip that, that'll pay for everything pretty much. And then again, free on the side of the road was these two guys. And uh, they are boat chairs. They're just a little on the dirty side. I washed them down with bleach. These were these I got the other day, but I'm counting them for a yard sale pile. But they're awesome shaped. Made in the USA. Got a little, I don't know what that is, tuna on the back of it. I think they're gonna go in the back of the bus for uh, if I go to shows and whatnot. Much more comfy cozy than the other ones. Alright guys, I got a little pile that I made on the side of the road. I gotta go back and get. Again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, hope you enjoyed the ride. Take care.